Hi and welcome to another edition of How to Sing That Song. Today we're going to go through Robbie Williams' Angels. I think it's an awesome song and it's actually quite often requested for weddings, whether it be the ceremony or the party in the evening. It's a great song. We use it oftentimes with a band as a closing song um, and then we kind of just dedicate it to the couple, to the groom and bride. So it's a really wonderful song. So let's get right started. What the important issue here is, is vibrato and no vibrato. The style here is really in a way that you don't want to overdo the vibrato. There's a lot of straight tones. I'm going to show you what I mean. I sit and wait short So you don't want to put the vibrato on the whole note. Contemplate my fate. It's too long. It would be too wobbly if you do it the whole time. So start straight and then it would be beautiful toward the end to get a little nice vibrato in there. And again, it's the same issue with all the songs. Make sure that you don't have the same energy level the whole time. Make sure that whenever the pitch goes up, you have a little bit more attention. And when the pitch goes back down, you relax a little bit more. It doesn't mean your support relaxes. Um, and do they know the places where we go when we're gray and And again here, when we're gray and old straight, and at the end put a little vibrato in there. If you don't know how to do vibrato, it's actually okay to do it straight. It's quite okay with this song, I think. It's not such an important issue here to have a lot of vibrato. You also want to make sure you take your time for breathing. Don't let the rest go by without actually taking that time and taking advantage of it and using it for your breathing. So you have deep, thorough, deep down diaphragm breathing way down here. Cause I have been told that salvation lets their wings unfold. Again, long straight. So when I'm lying in my bed, Fear that love is dead. Breathe. I'm loving angels instead. And now it goes up. What do you want to do again? Pretty straight. Straight and very clean and clear. What I do a lot of times is just to not think of singing so much and through it. Oh, she offers me protection. So if you have a hard time hitting that high note there, and I'm singing it in my, I'm singing it, and I'm singing it in my key, A. The original is E major, but I'm singing it in A major, just because it's a guy's song, and really, it would be totally off uh, if I sang it in the original key. So, but. Whenever you have the hard time singing that high pitch, try that exercise. Really. I find it does wonders for most of my students when you just think of speaking through it. Ah, she offers me protection. So what it does when you do that and you don't think about singing so much, you just go like, ah, you open your throat, you support and you don't get too tense and you don't just wide open, you don't have your jaw wide open. And those elements really help you hit that high note without them sounding pressed and throaty. You don't want it to sound pressed and narrow. Through it all, she offers me protection. time to breathe very deep don't just <gasps> snap you know don't just kind of gasp for air just really deep down the waterfall wherever it may take me i know that life won't break me when i come to call relax 
again She won't forsake me I'm loving angels instead And do you notice how down here I'm very relaxed again I'm not very chesty there I'm just as if I were speaking with you right now Very relaxed as if you're right in front of me I'm loving angels instead Because it's quite low again And then comes the second verse When I'm feeling weak Breathe And my pain walks down In a one-way street And so on and so on And it's pretty much... Um, very similar to the first one and then comes the chorus again same issue and then comes this instrumental solo um, originally with a guitar again with one little change it goes up at this one point let's go to that point through it all she offers me protection a lot of love and affection whether I'm right or wrong and down the waterfall wherever it may take me I know that life won't break me and the rest is pretty much the same um, as before but that high note really think of it very connected and basically the chorus you want to have the pitches within the chorus very connected through it all she offers me protection so basically you want the voice to always continue and never have an interruption there you don't want to go like and through it all she offers me protection you don't want to kind of disrupt that flow of your voice it's going to make it so much easier to get those high spaces and even to get that very high one to really connect it down the waterfall wherever it may take me and um, luckily it's on an A eh, that's pretty nice so you want to think very open almost like an A ah, wherever it may take me ma, ma, may. so it works pretty good if you connect it just don't go wherever it may take me don't go don't attack it so much just think more of a, wherever it may take me you can even just kind of slide it up just a tiny bit and so much better than just kind of like attacking it and it just you, you don't want it to stand out and people to think oh now that one was really hard you don't want to have anybody to think that so very connected think of it as one word and down the waterfall wherever it may take me and again try to do it in a speaking motion more down the waterfall wherever it may take me so just kind of imitate where it goes up and down but just don't think of a specific pitch yet just think of it as if you were just yelling it out there and usually it really helps you i don't know why it is but we instinctively do the right thing usually when we do that all the while making sure that you do breathe very deeply and you have good support and good posture you can have good posture sitting down but you need to make sure your torso is very straight your chest is lifted and that you're not kind of like restricting any airflow so i hope this tutorial helped you a little bit to sing this awesome song um, you should sing it it's great and it's a crowd pleaser definitely people love to hear it and uh, don't forget to tune back in on Thursday for another Q&A video and also on Friday for another Frias singing tips more on the technical side. Have a wonderful day and uh, don't forget always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye! <laughs>